Welcome back, folks, to Chicago 811. How the hell is everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. Got another video for you guys. We're on a project, um, sewer and water works. So we're marking out power. We got one power line that runs all the way down this way that feeds the hospital. It's about a two mile stretch. So in this video here, I'm gonna show you guys how I use guidance mode when I'm locating something, a two mile stretch of a power line. My hookup spot could be a mile away when they hook up and hopefully I get a tone all the way to the hospital. That's another mile. So folks, we wish me the best of luck. If you like the, if you like these types of videos, please like, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Alright ladies and gents, hope you guys are doing pretty good. Hope you guys are handling this dig season. Just got swamped with tons of work. And right now, I'm locating a power line. I'm hooked up probably, Jesus, probably a mile away. So, when I'm hooked up that far away to look at this power line, I like to use 320 hertz. And you can see I'm at 320 hertz. I'm using all five antennas to locate this. And what I did, I sweep, swept the whole parkway. I turned right there. And it's the only spot my receiver turned was right over here. So when you're using guidance mode, it's very critical that all five of your antennas is in agreement. It's all in agreement. So if you can see had to have a good peak response. My null is, if I get a set steady there, it's over, it's in line with the peak. My null is in line with the peak. Compass nice and straight, and this directional arrow right here is pointing away from my box. Because my hookup spot's way down there. Way down there. So as long, as long as my arrow right here points towards the current direction my current flow which is going this way then I'm fine you can see I'm fine because it's going where my current is flow is and it's flowing that way and everything's in agreement and I got 3.5 milliamps not bad being five miles you know a mile away by my two feet so I know this is my target point right here You know, if you guys never ever use guidance mode or current direction, I wouldn't recommend it on day-to-day -day basics locating. Peak and null is always the best way of locating all any utilities. Peak it out one way, null it back. The only reason I'm using current direction or all five antennas is because I'm hooked up a mile away and this is the band I'm using 320 Hertz and this is the lowest frequency and for me what works is using all five antennas and right now it works fine for your new, newer guys that are getting used to using these radio detections, I wouldn't recommend it at all to use it unless, unless you have experience with the radio detections. But if you have no, no experience you ever using the radio detections, don't use it. Because you're, you're going to bleed off not knowing it and get a damage. 
and then you go blame me. So don't use it. The best frequency, the best, uh, the best tennis to use is peak. You peak it out one way, turn around and roll it back to verify your peak to make sure it's all in the same location. Because with peak and no and no and back, you will catch out. You will catch yourself bleeding out to other utilities. Because if, if it doesn't know where your peak is, that's telling you there's interference in the ground. Something's crossing it, or you bled off onto a different utility. Then, then they would, you know, tell you you need to go to a different hookup spot and bring it back to see where the cable is actually at. A lot of times it might be just interference, you know, down that route. And then when you go to the other hookup spot to bring it back, you get a beautiful tone in the same spot where you lost it. So as you can see, current direction, so everything's lining up beautiful here. So now, I'm like, you know, I don't know, I'm about 900 feet away from my truck. So now what, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark out this utility facing where my current's coming. And now I'm going to, I'm going to mark my H pattern to find out where it's at. Because a lot of times when you face one way and turn around and go, go the other direction, you're... Um, tend to lead to the left or to the right with the radio detections. So that's why now I'm, I'm marking it back. So I'm nulling it back. It's like, it's, like, it's like this. I'm peeking it out this way and now I'm turning around to null it back. That's exactly what I'm doing. And I'm making sure I'm gonna be checking my depth, everything else, my peak. And I know, make sure everything lines up still. Everything still lines up, my arrow, right here it's still pointing away from my box 3.3 milliamps at two feet so now i'm going to start marking my utility right here because i know i'm right on it and 320 hertz i believe is the lowest frequency on hertz you could use on these radio detections But like, like I said, you could, you could use it for troubleshooting and for relocating one utility long, a long ways like I'm doing. I'm hooked up a mile away, a long ways. You could use it longest. All your antennas agree that your cable is here and you don't pick up nothing over here or you don't pick up nothing here and this is the only spot you pick it up. You know you're on it. You got to be on it. And if you're wrong, then the radio detection lied to you. Which you know, uh, I hope I hope these equipments act, you know, somewhat accurate, you know, pretty much accurate. As long as you get it calibrated, at least once a year, your machine should be at pretty close to accuracies, pretty close. But this is a video to show you guys that how I use all five antennas hooked up a mile away, a mile away, and still get a good tone after I did my whole sweep and I, my antennas didn't move anywhere else except at this spot here. So I know this is my line and I got marked this line way down there another mile. So if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe and have a great day.